guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and I've been getting a lot of requests uh, on a tutorial on how to back up the IMEI uh, for the Verizon Galaxy S3. This will also work on AT&T, T-Mobile, um, Bell, Rogers, uh, anybody that's carrying the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the way to back up the IMEI. Now, some people were having issues when flashing custom recoveries and unlocking the bootloader. They were losing their IMEI. This is uh, what has the phone's unique data um, as far as like the uh, settings, you know, the SIM card settings and all. That's what's stored in the IMEI, and this is why it's important to back it up. I personally have never backed it up before. I've never seen a need to. There's another guide uh, floating around on how to uh, restore yours in case you somehow mess it up and you don't have a backup. Uh, but if you do have a backup, it just makes things go a whole lot easier because you can use the same process to restore what you already have backed up on your computer's hard drive uh, without having to, you know, open up your phone and grab your IMEI number off the back of your phone. Uh, if you back it up using this process, it just makes it a whole lot easier to restore in case something does go wrong. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, on your phone, you're going to open up the dialer. And you're going to dial star pound seven two eight four pound. It's going to bring up this menu. Uh, here you're going to uh, select Qualcomm USB settings and you will change it to RM net plus DM plus modem. Just remember that you're on MTP. Whatever it's set on, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you set it back whenever we finish. So RM net uh, plus DM plus modem is where we need to be and we'll click OK and then we're going to plug in our USB cable and then we can kind of set our phone to the side so you'll need to go to the link in the description download the NV Reader Writer and also install the drivers for your Samsung Galaxy S3 you'll open up the NV Reader Writer Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the port in the left corner here. And you're looking for your Samsung serial port. There. Double click that. You're going to want to make sure that both of these boxes are checked. Click connect in the top bar here. Click read in the top bar. Click read here. And now it's starting the process of backing it up. Uh, so you'll want to make sure that you kind of stick around and wait for this to finish. You're going to want to save this file as soon as it finishes. So normally it takes about 5 to 10 minutes, so be patient. Okay, so when you're all finished, a save as box is going to pop up. You're just going to save the file. Samsung IMEI Backup. And you'll save it wherever to your desktop. That's fine. Save it. Okay, and whenever you want to write that, you're going to go through the same process uh, to get your phone online in the correct setting as far as typing the uh, star pound 7284 pound, and then you're going to select the Qualcomm USB settings, RM net plus DM plus modem, then you're going to open up the NV items, uh, reader writer, and you're going to go through the same process to get it all set up, making sure to check the same boxes, and then you'll just click on the write button and that will write your backup so you'll go back to your phone and you'll go back to your dialer pound i'm sorry star pound seven four two i'm sorry seven two eight four pound and qualcomm usb settings put it back to wherever it was and select ok and you are finished so that is how you back up and restore your IMEI. Uh, might as well go ahead and do that backup. Just have it ready uh, just in case something bad happens. Like I said, nothing bad has happened to me yet. Um, and it very well may never happen to any of you guys, but it's always good to be prepared just in case something does go wrong. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Uh, you can find more of me at DroidModerX.com for all the latest in Android and technology news. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more guides and tutorials like this one. If this helped you in any way, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me more than you know. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.